couple of Mennonite here in SoCal. You know, both these players very, very well versed in each other's matchups, but it's a matchup that you don't get to see a whole lot. We hit the very kooky character, you know, awkward hitboxes, but they hit super hard when, yeah. especially with deep breathing. So that's that's something that I was about to say. Like neither of these are like super duper common characters, Meta Knight and We Fit. Kind of not super in favor in the meta, so to speak, the Meta right. Knight. But we're gonna get to see them here. I actually have a lot of experience with We Fit because uh, I do have Ardeo in my home region, mm. so I get to see this character quite a bit. But already off the bat, what else could you expect with the We Fit immediately retreating to the corner? Right. You know they're always gonna throw out a projectile, whether that's the sun salutation or the soccer ball. But here we go, and right there on ledge. But you know what? I don't think Mennonite's gonna really struggle with We Fit at the ledge, just because the multiple jumps can really threaten them if they stay off stage for a prolonged amount of time. Yeah, Meta Knight definitely a character who has a lot of the tools necessary to deal with Wii Fit. Speaking of which, goes deep off stage there with the Nair, but it isn't able to interrupt deep breathing, actually. So Floppe is going to be able to get it online, going to be able to get that extra damage. But right now, you can actually see the game plan in action of Joseph staying back, waiting, being very patient while deep breathing is active because you don't want to approach and take all that damage. But speaking of all that damage, Sun Salutation. Yeah, I mean, that is just a really beefy projectile, does at least 20%. But the interesting thing is about it is that it also heals Wii Fit too. So you can't let Wii Fit just take it and take it for free because eventually they'll start healing a little bit and all of a sudden you're slowly losing your percent lead. Yeah, it's not a significant amount of healing, obviously, but over time, of right. course, it is enough to matter, especially should it go down to a time situation. And if you've ever seen John Numbers, you know Wii Fit can camp like hell. But that's not what's happening right now. We have two characters in each other's faces. Joseph trying to chase off stage, but getting caught by that soccer ball. And I believe the name of the game is avoiding all those projectiles. No, Wii Fit's not going to be approaching you too often, but they have such fast projectiles, especially with the Sun Salutation, with the soccer ball. They can change the angle and the speed of which the ball approaches you. So you just have to constantly be on edge of how is he going to approach me? How is he going to zone me out? And when is my opportunity to close in that distance? Right now, at least, he's not having too good of a time avoiding all the projectiles flying his way this time. The up air is going to catch him, and I think deep breathing was active at the moment, so it's going to do enough damage to take the stock, but the dimensional cape back onto the stage is nearly going to result in Floppe losing the stock of his own. Now, no percent lead, no extra credit found, and Joseph finds that up, he finds that shuttle loop to take down the stock. And you know, he was just hoping to close out that stock before Floppe could get that extra credit, could build a lead, and you know, when a Wii Fit has a lead, they have no reason to approach you. They can just sit no. back and play their projectile camping game even harder. Absolutely not. There's literally no reason, but Joseph was able to take it down before the lead became too much to handle and actually does have a lead of their own. Going to get the up air bridge into the tornado, takes down the stock, and now has a huge lead despite losing that first stock. I mean, this is so critical for Joseph too, because now he's in control. He has the momentum on his side. And you know, if Floppy has to know make some bigger plays now. He has to be a little bit more aggressive in how he approaches. Right, having this much of a lead, especially in terms of stocks and not just percents, that means that f most of Floppy's game plan, most of his flow chart is just off the table. He has to approach, he has to go in, right. and when he has to approach and go in, it results in things like this. One singular Meta Knight string taking 59% no. and the two frame from underneath the stage, not gonna be enough to kill, but maybe this chase off stage could do just that sent away again. Floppy's having so much trouble getting back to stage, and I think that might be it. Oh. Yes, it is. Yeah. And what we saw right there is that Wii Fit actually has one of the most susceptible up these to ledge because they stick their arms out, and that's a hurt box. And before they grab the ledge, like there's a wider frame to two frame. That's why that S Smash hit so far below ledge, right? Absolutely. And the soccer ball almost killed him for it too on the crackback. But then he was so far out of stage, didn't have a double jump, and no, Joseph saw the perfect opportunity to just continue the edge guard. Yeah, no, it's just so much stacking up against you in that situation. And honestly, it looked towards the end like Floppe didn't really know what to do. Like we talked about the the, the portions of his flow chart being removed removed, excuse me, by Joseph having the lead. And once that happened, it seemed that his entire game plan fell apart. He was forced to approach, and then he just got comboed to hell and back, died for it. We're gonna be running it right back to PS2 for game number two. We'll see if Floppe can maybe get their legs underneath them, get a little bit more going this time. I mean, we could see more of like stock one Floppe. Whoa, what the hell was that, Floppe? You said stock one Floppe? Well, yeah, this is, this is like, Omega stock one floppe right here. This is stock one floppe that has found the deep breathing combos that kill. Oh no, but he is getting caught by the up air bridge. No follow up though, no tornado this time. So 
It's not going to be nearly as disastrous as the first time Joseph got that up air bridge, but still being held off stage, gets the back air going to chase. Remember when I said it's not going to be as disastrous as the first time? I lied. Yeah. It was. Joseph was like, okay, I saw you have some you know, cheap tricks. Now I see what you got, but I still have the solid edge guarding. I can still put you in disadvantage and chase you so far off stage. Absolutely. Now resetting back to neutral and Floppe kind of looking like he really wants to stay as far away from this Meta Knight as possible. He's seen what happens when he goes in. He's seen what happens when he approaches. And despite the fact that it's only about 11% of a lead right now, he's going to take that lead for everything he can get. Here we go. Oh, oh, unfortunately, getting a dash attack on the platform. Probably wanted to run off aerial instead. But you know what? Floppe has a nice lead, but can he keep it? Oh, my god. Not You're going... just so scared every time when Mennonite gets a single hit on you. It's, it's especially at the lower percents. Once Floppe gets upwards in percents, it starts to become a little bit harder for Meta Knight to get those big damage combos in. But at least here, 45%, he's in very real danger of losing the stock. And wow, the lingering sour spot of Dare going to catch Meta Knight there sends him off stage and puts Floppe in a great position, trying to chase with that deep breathing up air, but can't find it. Here we go. Tries to go over it, doesn't find the landing hitbox of the fair. And, oh, you know Joseph was trying to cheese with that side B right there. Yeah. And there we go. I mean, that back air, so strong, so fast. It's probably one of the fastest aerials in the game. It's like a frame, like, three or four back air. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, he definitely wanted to try and get that early kill with the side B onto the, the run-out ledge invincibility, but this is going to be big damage. No, deep breathing actually runs out, so Floppy takes the opportunity to back off. Maybe not. 70% and still climbing. Yeah. He wants this game three. Going to try and stop Joseph with a dare, but he barely manages to avoid it. Oh, wow, that was a really interesting... I, I think that was Jab that, like, was the back hit of it. He's going to go for a bear chase there, though. Floppe yeah. gets the fair, I believe it was. Going to be able to get that like, lingering hit, that back hitbox that oh. sends him off into the blast zone, gets the kill. Uh, I don't even think Floppe was ready for fair to send Mennonite backwards. Like, I know his hitbox had, like, weird angles, weird properties to it. That is one angle I have never seen that fair send. I almost think that might have been just trying to cover an option or two. Right. Like, not even, like, just a, a stay away from me option right. instead like, of like, a... Like, please don't tornado me yeah, at this percent. It was, uh, I'm not trying to kill you. I just want you to stay out of my bubble option. And, well, it it hit. It, it, it killed. killed. Uh, it worked. I, hey, if it works, it works. I'll take the game. Absolutely. Right? Now, game three, still running it to PS2. Neither of these players want to bother with counterpicking, just running it the whole time. And a good deep breathing into the air dodge by Floppy to not only get his buff, but avoid that up air. Oh, tries daring, but unfortunately gets hit by the dash attack instead. Gets the air dodge read on the side B, and wow, you can see with so many jumps, Floppy just had a hard time trying to pin down where Men and I was going to land. Yeah, and still like, doing a pretty good job of it, trying to force the approach from Joseph. He gets in, but this time it's the bear from Joseph that connects first, now leading into the Nair. He keeps chasing, and Floppe is actually having a little bit of trouble getting out of shield when Joseph is applying pressure on him. All right. Here we go. Joseph really trying to pull back, really pull his punches, see where he can get something to land. But you know what? He gets deep breathing, gets caught by the spot dodge rate, and here we go. Yeah, both players just trying to find their openings at this point. He's got to be very careful of that spot dodge into F-Tilt, especially at the ledge, because if he gets get hit by at ledge when deep breathing is active, this is kill percent. 92%, it's nothing to a deep breathing, with, uh, or a wee fit with deep breathing, rather. And you saw Floppe going high right there, because every time he went low, he got hit by Tornado or an edge guard. So you can just see him try and do everything he can to avoid getting edge guarded by Meta Knight. Really good use of the shuttle loop there, but what I also really like is the fact that Floppe took the opportunity of while he was up in the blast zone to stall with deep breathing and get it active again. Chasing the shuttle loop again, though, and Joseph almost going to be able to take this stock. It's very close, a 2% difference between. Right. Oh, wow, that was such a good down because. He really made Floppe guess, like, am I going to land in front of you? Am I going to hit you? Or am I just going to retreat? And, you know, Floppe just had to respect everything. Almost getting the snipe there. It was very, very close. But Joseph, good wherewithal to be able to get away with it. Now being chased, pushed all the way across, gets the grab. The F throw here is going to put him in an awful position, right. sending the soccer ball after him yet again. But good landing fair to keep himself safe. 
Oh no, he tried to get deep breathing. He's off stage. Does he have the double jump? No, he doesn't. He avoids the side B though, and that was so good on Floppe to not go directly to ledge, but kind of like drift back a little bit and then go for ledge. Yeah, Floppe's recovery mix-ups have been pretty fantastic throughout this set so far. It's game three. This is where it really, really matters. But an up throw here is going to put him in an awkward position. Right. Going to be chased off stage, but good fast fall there too. Remember, I just talked right. about the recovery mix-up. Going to use that fast fall to get back on stage safely, almost connecting with an F tilt too. Right. Oh, catches the roll read. Not gonna get the kill though. Ooh. Oh my god, both players are living to all above 150%, almost 200% at this point. The soccer ball connection, you, Floppy, you don't need deep breathing right now. Any of your moves are going to kill. Speaking of any of your moves getting the kill, that is going to be the side beat right. to take out the stock there. Now alive at 173, but not any longer. The uh, the Nair is going to get the stage spike, and I do believe that was untackable. Right, I mean at 170 plus percent, it better be untackable. Oh wow, the jab! Unfortunately, interrupting the aerial right there. Imagine how mad you would be if you if you like go off stage, hit an air against an opponent at almost 200, and they still tech it and live. Right. Back up on stage with that neutral B, the Sun Salutation going to keep their options covered. Gets the deep breathing out, but Chase with a fair. This could actually be disaster. No, Joseph not getting the spike hitbox. Right. Oh my god, almost getting the Nair into up smash right there for the kill. But yeah, you see Floppe stalling off stage just ever so slightly with the side B. Getting caught by the fair though, Floppe is getting chased around a lot. Hasn't really found the opportunity to get their feet underneath them. Now off stage, avoiding the grab with the spot dodge though, gets the F tilt as well. Pops up Joseph and keeps him in disadvantage. Right. And we were talking about like maybe it going to time if both players stall. I feel like both players have been scrappy. They just couldn't find the kill Woo! on one another. This could be it though. Gets oh. chased all the way down, but really Oh my good god. He's, the, the he's still alive. Yeah. And no. There, oh, but he, he was alive because of deep breathing. But there's finally the kill. The second stock, it's been so long. We are literally five minutes into the game, and that was the third stock taken total. There we go, Floppe, you know, he's down. He can find the kill if he has deep breathing, but you know what, if Joseph has been playing as defensively as he's been playing this entire game, Floppe's gonna struggle, but avoids the up air chain just barely, and you know what? Gets he the really, out of shield. Yeah, he just really needs to find this kill soon. Speaking of which, is yeah. going to find it with the deep breathing. F-Tilt takes out that stock. 30.4% on him can very quickly be met, made up with deep breathing active. And we see it right there. Oh, he no! is going to be able to get it, but Floppe might not be able oh. to make it back to stage. Right. Is going to do it. Good delay on the, on the recovery to get away from Meta Knight off stage. Right. And you could just see Floppe doing everything he can to avoid a Meta Knight F smash, just to keep Meta Knight at bay long enough so that he could get deep breathing or Sun Salutation. Gets back up onto stage though, is going to be able to get past it, but still caught by a bear, chased by an air in the shuttle loop, does so safely twice in a row, going to be able to keep Floppe in disadvantage. This percent gap is lengthening with right. the second. And you know what, every time Floppe goes for the, for the deep breathing, he risks Meta Knight, you know, coming in for the potential kill. Chased off stage, tries to go for the deep breathing delay, but very wisely canceling it, but it's not going to matter. Right. The bear going to connect, and Joseph oh. takes the set two to one. Right. And we see Joseph, you know, adapting his edge guarding game towards the later half of that set, realizing, okay, I know he can stall himself for just